In today's video, we're opening up every 2015 Megaton ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another opening every tin from a specific year. We did 2014 very recently. This year we have 2015 and 2015 is very similar to 2014. They went from, you know, previously we used to have six tens, we went down to four. There's only two now. And these two are the Odd Eyes tin, which is very cool. It looks pretty nice. Let me just give you guys a little look at it. Odd Eyes tin, I do like the look of this tin. It's very cool. I don't know why they made them bigger. I really, I still don't understand why they made them bigger. Cause like, there's only three packs in here. Same as 20, 2014, it's three mega packs and then promos. Why does it need to be bigger for that? I don't understand. And then we have the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. This one is a very cool looking tin. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite tins possibly ever in terms of like how it looks so very awesome also bigger for some reason so we have two of those and yeah as i said there's only three packs inside so six pack opening not long enough for a video so we do have some ghosts from the past this is where it's finally gonna happen we are gonna bless ourselves with a ghost or a dark magician somehow it's gonna happen and one day it will but before we get into it we do have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three promo cards cru bade the magnet warrior and kinetic soldiers just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below your favorite 2015 10 you've got two options and let's see if we can get that Dark Magician and then maybe pull some crazy 2015 secrets. And of course, those Platinum Secret Rares, which is my favorite part about these tins. Okay, we are going to start this video off with Ghosts from the Past. So it's kind of weird doing these every 10 openings when there's only two different ones. But, you know, I got to do every year. We haven't done every year yet. Mass change 2014 and 15, I had not done. We had done 2013, so we're knocking out a few years in the middle. To start, we have the Gear Town and we have Starry Night Sky. All right, slow start. We had done like, you know, we did 2019. 19 videos and stuff like we've done the other ones before 2019 to 2023 there's only one 10 option so i still need to do i guess 2018 2017 2016 at some point we have metaphors vault flame i think there's two in each of those years hieratic seal we have the hieratic dragon of tefnuit hieratic sun dragon overlord of heliopolis and we have a laval archer so a slow slow start here and then i think that we haven't done 2008 that one's really expensive that's why i haven't done it yet black rose and stardust are like they're ridiculously priced like it's so so much for those tins sunvine healer like more than 2002 tins that's how expensive they are fly back we have heels and root cosmojo and Neshadal Genius. This actually went back up. It was like two or three bucks. It was like down to like 90 cents and it's made a little comeback, which is nice. I think like 08 through 2012, we still need to do. So those aren't too hard. I just need to actually get on finding those other tens, but we'll do that at some point. If you guys want to see those, let me know in the comments. Ori Calc, we have the uh, Foglade, Gigantis, Gear Town, and we have a evenly matched. Very nice. This is down to like six bucks now. Or no, no, it was like it was like 350. Like it's ridiculously low now. So it's not even getting us our crazy value back anymore. But it's still nice. We'll take the $3.50 card. Still pretty close to making a lot of our not all of our money back these days. It goes from the past ones, probably like an eight or ten dollar pack. We have Fairy Tale. We have Sunvine. Time Thief, I'm just guessing by the way. Don't just, don't take my word for it. We have a Starry Night Arrival. Five packs in, you know what? It's time to open. I think we're gonna do the Odd Eyes first. So like the Dark Rebellion look a little bit more. Very cool, Odd Eyes. We got Pendulum stuff going on. I know you guys love Pendulums. Cut this thing open. 2015, can you believe it's been eight years since 2015? It's also been nine, 10 since then. Okay, let's see what this Odd Eyes looks like. It's gonna be sick. Oh, <laughs> it's the Pendulum Dragon, baby. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Oh, look at this thing. This rarity looks in. First of all, these packs look really cool. I like the look of them. This rarity looks great on Pendulum cards. I, I think it looks very nice on the Pendulum cards. Check this thing out. That is pretty. Uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about it. You already did in 2014, but if you didn't see that video, let me know how you feel about these uh, Platinum Secret Rares. I like how they didn't do it on the monster, so he really pops out. Looks like a custom card. How they like will make the artwork pop out. I like it. That looks so cool. Uh, Elder Entity Norden, and we have a Majesty's Fiend. Oh, Majesty cards. Those are pretty rough sometimes. Man, this looks cool. I love this card. It looks so good. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I'm sure it's very, very cheap because people don't like that rarity, but I love it. I think it looks good. Megaton 2015. I don't know exactly what we're pulling in 2015 Megatons. I have opened a few of these over the years in terms of the packs, but not so many. I don't know if I've ever opened these tins, to be honest. Galactic Charity, we have Area of the Melodious Diva, no Melodious, stay away. Super Heavy Samurai, oh, this is what it is. Wonder Balloons, wow, that's a 2015 card. Fluffle Owl, very nice. 
the Noble Knights of the Round Table, all right, and the Gladiator Beast, Nerokius. This is like not a very good Gladiator Beast, but it is a Glad Beast, which is cool. Uh, Folk Halt's Cannon. We have Reform of Pal Call. All right, nice stuff. We have Soul Breaker Armor, Double Dragon, Soul Strike, Gym Knight Lapis. All right, the Gym Knights and Unleashed. So really some old school stuff there. And old school is a little bit of a strong word, you know, not original, original, but this is at this point a very old format. We have Yang Zing Brutality. These all seem to be damaged in the middle. Like 2014 was like that, 2015. It's always the first card. Beagle Tech, we have Wall of Disruption. Talk about a dueling staple. That is a crazy card. Uh, Pendulum Shift. Shadal Squamata, Shadals, oh, so cool. Squamata's in here. Level Lifter. We have Fright for Bear, the Fright First. I love this, I just, this era is cool. The, oh, the Apo Quifort Sky Base. All right, that is, I don't know how to say these. And an El Shadal Grista, El Shadal. I don't think I've ever seen this one. That Secret Rare looks really nice. Okay, they crushed that one. And then the CXE's Baryon Hope. And then number 42, Quipper, we have Blizzard Thunderbird, Fire Last Minute, and Sonata the Melodious Diva. I do not like Melodious though. One more pack from the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon Tent. Man, that was a sweet looking promo. I'm a big fan of it. Fluffle Rabbit, more Fluffles, the Rabbit. Echo Oscillation. We have Sylvan Waterslide, Fluffle Bear. Curse of the Shadow Prison. Uh, climate Change, we have the Performa Pow Cheer Mole. <laughs> Such a weird card, look what is happening there. The Stellar Nova Alpha. Okay. Oh yeah, the Satellar cards are in it very, you know, around this because Duelist Alliance came out 2014, I think. So this is probably a reprint of a lot of those cards. Ooh, and the Orea, the Sylvan High Arbiter. High Arbiter. That reminds me of Rage Shadow Legends, sponsor of the channel very often. So uh, the the High Arbiter. You love to see it. Secret rare. And then the Escalation of the Monarchs. Very nice. Fluffle Cat, pretty awesome. We have the Reculate, Strike the Monarchs, Fluffle Leo, and the Jin Demolisher of Rituals. Okay, let's give Ghost from the Past another try. These are pretty fun. I like these. These are cards I don't see often. Like this era is stuff we don't open that often. It's either old school or like brand new. So opening this era is super fun because I don't see these cards very often. Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. Maybe I need to try and find more from this era. 2014, 2015 is what I should look for. Next goes from the past, come on. Evil Thorn. This is the reprint that killed the Raging Battle common. It was like an $8 common. It was so fun to pull that. Resonator Call, we have Salaman Grey Fowl. Terror of Trishula and Dragoonity Knight a Repair. There's got to be a ghost rare at some point, right? I mean, how many packs in a row is this? I know there are one per case in this, which is about one in 150 packs, so it's less than a normal ghost rare. But it feels like we've opened like 300 packs. Metafalls, we have the uh, Recover. Molten Conductor Field. Fairy Tale Roca and the Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Couple more chances before we go on to the XCs. The Dark Rebellion XCs Dragon. There we go. 10. That 10. CRU. Cool reprint. Doesn't really, not really a point to doing it, but it is cool. Bismuth Gear. We have the Durandal. Evil Thorn. And we have Starry Knight. All right. We're not even getting like decent cards out of the Ghost from the Past this time. Final pack of Ghost from the Past 1. Here we go. We have the Resonator Call, Salaman Great Foul. Let's beat the pack. Terra of Trishula, Metaphors of All Flame, and Starry Night Veilfire. We live to search another day. All right, it's time. I wish I could show this a little bit better, but it's even bigger than regular tens, as I mentioned already. 15% bigger, according to Yugipedia. Very cool stuff. Let's open it up. Let's get that sweet promo out. XC's Platinum Rare, Secret Rare is very cool. After you see this, let me know, do you prefer the Platinum or the XC's monster being a Platinum Rare or, or Platinum Secret Rare? Or do you prefer the Pendulum being a Platinum Secret Rare? I think they're both pretty sweet. Oh yeah, check that out. Ooh, this, these two might be some of the best Platinum Secret Rares. They definitely made them even better from 2014. We gotta check this thing out. Dark Rebellion XC's Dragon. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful looking card. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Secret rare. That is beautiful. We have Old Entity and Castell. Oh, that's a good card. Castell Super Rare. This is incredible when it hits the light. Oh my gosh. This card looks so good. How do people not like these? Let me know in the comments right now how you didn't like them or if you don't, because I need to understand because that is beautiful. Three packs left in this opening. It's been very fun so far. I've really enjoyed it. Mega 10 28 or 2015. I'm just saying random things that are, I don't know where they're coming from. Infernoid, Atendel, which is, you know, nothing new for me. We have Spike Eagle, 
Stellar Nova Wave or Stellar Nova, Soul Piercer, and the band played on. Yes, they did. We have the Wonder Balloons. Super Every Samurai Benkai. Wait, didn't this get either a retrain or a reprint or something recently? Okay, Bujin Rume. Bujins were in the last one too. And Infernoid. This is a card from Secrets of Eternity. This was also a secret rare in Secrets of Eternity. I like how in this era, they just used the same rarity. They didn't even bother to give it a new rarity. They're like, ah, it's same rarity, who cares? Very weird. I don't necessarily love that. We have the Tachyon Chaos Hole. That's a super rare. Battle Guard Howling. We have the Shadal Hound. That's not a card people play a lot in Shadal. Bo Carnival. We have Soul Strike. Gym Knight Lapis. And the Artifact Unleashed. Two more packs in this every 2015 Mega 10 opening. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. There's a Lancia. That's a reprint out of a dual slime. Man, these do not want to get these corners off. Lancia is a very good common. All right. Very solid. Awesome card. We have the Performer Pal Swordfish. The Swordfish. Toy Vendor. All right. Pendulum Shift. The Shift of the Pendulums. Shadal Squamata. Another Shadal. Very cool. Level Lifter. Fluffle Owl, the Fluffles are back. We have a Herald of Ultimateness. Is this old? This card was crazy in Drytron just like a couple years ago. So I didn't realize it was this old. It's actually, man, wow, like a nine, 10 year old card. Probably the original Prince by 2014. That is insane. And then the Noble Knights Brothers. So hey, like Noble Knight support coming out soon, I think. I think that's what I heard. Uh, probably not gonna be very good. And then the Sylvan Princess Sprout. Very cool, the Mimiclay. Infernoid, Performer Pal Friend Donkey, and Donkey! We have the Performer Pal Fire Muffer Lion, we have the Last Minute Cancel, and so not of the Melodious Diva. Last Pack Magic, will it ensue in this video? Every 2015 10. Remember, we did have Last Pack Magic in the every 2002 10 opening. If you guys have not seen my playlist of the opening every packs, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of different opening everys in there, I should say. A lot of videos where we did opening every of different things. So go check it out if you enjoyed this video. They're a lot of them are a lot longer and potentially better than this video. Not a lot to really work with on this this year. There's only a couple of tins. Him of Light, we have the Satellar Knight. Un Unu Kolai, that looks like an Urukai. We have the Fluffle Bear. Curse of the Shadow Prison. The Climate Change. Shadal Beast, another nice Shadal. And an Artifact Ignition, nice Ultra Rare right there. And the Secret Rare Pot of Riches. Oh, that is an ugly pot right there. But hey, it's a pot card, very cool. And an Avalon, also very nice. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. And as I said earlier, don't forget to check out that playlist of the opening every, it should be on the screen coming up very soon. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moose Jr. Barding, Robert F. and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.